Welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit these baby booties for baby boys and girls between zero and three months. Now, you can also make them smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to six months old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Okay, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these three millimeter kneading needles. I'm going to use these circular needles, but I'm going to use them as straight needles. So you can use uh, just your normal straight needles as well. So make sure that they are three millimeters. Now, I'm also going to be using this DK weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Style Craft Special Double Knit. This is in the color Lipstick Red. Now, if you're in the US, you can also use any number three yarn. Now, I'm also going to use two colors, the main color is going Going to be red but I'm also going to use white so here to begin we're going to cast on our stitches I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on now the first thing that we need to do with the long tail cast on is determine how much yarn we need to leave for our long tail so to do this I like to do the following I like to wrap my yarn around for about 20 times now in this case I only need 24 stitches so let's see how many I have I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 perfect we're going to pull this off so here we have enough yarn for 24 stitches I'm just going to add a little bit more and here I'm going to make a slip knot like this. Now, I'm going to use both needles like this to cast on my stitches. So just insert your needles through there, open your yarn like this, hold it, and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop here. So do this. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Perfect. Now I have my 24 stitches here. I like to tie a knot here before I, I do anything. So I'm just going to do a little knot here. Perfect. Now remove one of the needles and now what we're going to do here is we have 24 stitches we're going to knit each one of the stitches for every row from here on except for the first stitch and the last stitch here these two stitches are my border stitches the first and the last so the last I'm always going to purl and the first stitch I am always going to slip except for this first row so let's start so here, I am going to knit the first stitch, but only for this first row. And we're going to knit across like this. Okay, so here's my last stitch. My last stitch, I'm always going to purl. And here's the first row. Now we're going to turn and we're going to repeat the same thing. Except that in this row and all the rows to follow, we are always going to slip the first stitch like this and we're going to knit across. So knit each one of the stitches.
Okay, so here's my last stitch. My last stitch, I'm going to purl. Here's the second row. Now turn for the third row, and we're going to repeat the same thing. We are going to do this for a total of about 50 rows. Um, continue watching and you'll see exactly how many rows I'm going to do just in case I decide to do more or less. So here, you're just going to continue and repeat the same thing. Slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch, and so on. Just knit across and just remember that the last stitch you are always going to purl. Okay, so continue like this, repeat this same row. Here to finish, you're going to purl the last stitch, you're going to turn, slip the first stitch, and knit across. Okay, so continue and I will meet you at the end of the 50th row or continue watching and I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. Okay, I did a total of 48 rows. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48 rows. Now, it's measuring about, let's see, it's about 4 inches, which is about... 10 centimeters. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to close nine of these stitches. So to do this, I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to knit the next one. Now the first stitch, I'm going to pass it over the stitch that I just knit like this. I'm going to do the same thing for the next stitch. Pass this over the first stitch or the last stitch and close. Knit the next stitch and pass this first stitch over the stitch that we just knit. And I'm going to do this until I have 15 stitches left, right here. Let me see how many I have. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So I need to do one more, but before I do that, I'm going to make my last one here with this new color. I'm going to change color. So insert as if you're going to knit the stitch and with the new color, knit this stitch and then pass this stitch over this new stitch that I just finished or in a new color. Perfect. And that's how we're going to change color here. We're going to leave this one here and I'm going to knit these next stitches with this white color. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now here at the end of this last stitch, we're going to purl. And this is how I finished this row here where we changed colors and we closed nine stitches. Now for the second row, we're going to purl. So the first stitch we are going to slip and then we're going to purl each one of these stitches for a total of 15. That's one, two, three, four. and 15. Perfect. Now we're going to turn. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do four rows. We're going to work them with the red. We're going to alternate like this. So we're going to cross both yarns like this to bring 
the red color here. And with the red color beginning here, I'm going to slip the first stitch, knit the next, and knit across to the last stitch where I'm going to purl. This is how we're going to create the stripes. Now you can also make it to where you can do four rows in white and four rows in red, but I like the way that it looks with just a small stripe in white. So that would be up to you. Okay, so here the last stitch we are going to purl. Okay, turn. And we're going to knit across to the last stitch where we're going to purl. So slip the first stitch and knit across. With the white, we're going to make the stockinette stitch and with the red, we're going to make the garter stitch, which is just knit every stitch for every row. So this is the last stitch, purl. And here, just pull your white yarn so that this stitch here closes a bit more. Now we're going to turn and repeat this again. Make sure we bring the white yarn along with us so that we keep it at the same level. And all you do is just cross them like this together. Slip the first stitch and knit across to the last stitch where you purl. Purl. Turn. Slip the first stitch. And then knit across. And then purl the last stitch. Always, always. Turn cross both yarns so that we change color here. So here we're going to slip the first stitch, pull the red so that this stitch here closes, and then knit across to the last stitch where you're going to purl. Purl the last stitch, turn, and purl across. Slip the first stitch, and then purl. Purl the last stitch too. Perfect. Turn. And now we have our two rows complete in the white and now I have to start the four rows here in um, garter stitch, so in the color red. So we're going to cross here our yarns like this. Make sure you always do that for every row when you're here at this side. And then slip the first stitch and then knit across, except for the last one where you're going to purl. So I'm just going to show you this last um, stripe here. 
and then you're going to continue on your own until we have about seven stripes of each color. Not exactly sure, depending on how big this part is for the size that we're making, that's when we're going to stop. I'm trying to make this for zero to three months. Okay, so here we're going to purl the last stitch, turn, and slip the first stitch and knit to the last stitch where you're going to purl. Purl the last stitch, pull your white color here so that that stitch closes more, turn, and then repeat to rows again. Slip the first stitch, oop, I almost forgot. We need to make sure we bring the white along with us, so we're just going to cross it like this. Okay, so slip the first stitch and knit across to the last stitch. Purl the last stitch, turn, and slip the first stitch and knit across. Purl the last stitch. Perfect. Now here we're going to make sure to cross both colors because here we're going to use the white like this. Now from here on, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do two rows in stockinette stitch and then four rows in garter stitch, just like I showed you here. So for this next row, I need to do the two rows here in stockinette stitch. So I'm going to start you off here. So I'm going to slip the first stitch and then knit across to the last stitch where you are going to remember to purl. Always, always the last stitch you purl. So we're going to knit across. Purl the last stitch, turn, slip the first stitch, and purl across. In white, we only do two rows. With the red, we do four rows. Pull your yarn here, turn, and now you're going to find your red yarn, bring it over the white like this. Now here you're just going to continue with the red and create the red stripe in the same way that I showed you here. You're going to do this in the garter stitch where you knit um, four rows, except for the last stitch where you purl and then you slip the first stitch always. So continue like this for a total, I'd say of about seven stripes. So seven stripes in white and seven stripes in red. And I will meet you once this part here is done to show you how we're going to close our baby booty. Always remember to always bring the white yarn or the red yarn along with you so that they're both at the same level. And all you do is just cross them over like this on top of each other. And this creates this little chain here at the top. Uh, it doesn't matter if it looks a little ugly because this part here, we're going to close it anyways, so you won't be able to see it. So don't worry about it uh, not looking as nice. Okay, so continue and I will meet you back once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this part here. I have eight stripes in white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then I have seven stripes in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So here what I'm going to do is we are going to close these stitches here so that we can sew uh, this here, the baby booty like this. So let me give you the measurement here. Let's see, this is measuring about, it's about eight inches, which is about 20 centimeters. So here, we're going to make sure to bring the red yarn here along. So with the white, we're going to close these stitches here. Now you can do this with the same needle or you can do it with a crochet hook. So I am going to knit the first stitch and then knit the next stitch. We're going to bring this first stitch over the second stitch. Knit the next stitch and bring this stitch over the second stitch. Knit the next stitch bring this stitch over the second stitch and so on. This is how I'm going to close this part here. We're not going to make any rows, we're just going to finish our booty now. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting off my stitches here. Now I cut my yarn, passed my yarn through this last loop and I left a pretty long tail here on this side. Now here at this other end, I also cut my yarn and I left a pretty long tail. So what I did here was I just passed, my stitch was right here, so I just passed it with a crochet hook up to the first stitch and I just passed my yarn through that last loop. So I just pulled the loop and then passed my yarn through that loop so that I'm right here at this very corner. So if you pull, your stitches cannot go anywhere now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to close this top part first. So with this yarn that we left, pass your yarn through this needle here. And now we're going to go here to this first row right here insert your needle right there right about here this is where we started oh, let's do there now bring it through the front like this and now we're going to go to the top you see where we have the rows in red just go through there I'm only going through the top through the red rows I'm skipping the rows in white so like this Perfect. Now pull your needle and this is going to close the booty from the top like this. Okay. And that's what it should look like. Don't worry about it. There being a little hole here, it's going to close once we finish this part here. So now we're going to go here to this side and we're going to close the booty right along the edge here. But first we're going to have to make sure to, let's see, this yarn here was where we joined in white. So I'm just going to reinforce this stitch here going to go through this. This is the same stitch that I, uh, the first stitch here where we closed. Just pull on that and it should look like this. A lot neater. Pull on that. And here we can tie a knot with this yarn that we have here so that that close is nice and the top of the booty looks something like this. See, there's a little hole right there, but don't worry about it. We're going to either put a little flower or something there to make it nice and pretty. So just tie your knot here. Like this. Perfect. Now, we're going to grab our needle again. We're going to join these sides like this, but we're going to do them from the inside like this. So I'm going to find my first stitch just right there 
And here we're going to count nine stitches down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right there. Let me put a stitch marker just to make sure. And here I should have 15. Let's see, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. So here we're going to go into this is the first stitch here. So insert your needle there into the ninth stitch where I have this stitch marker. And we're going to close this part here. Here we want to make sure we go through both loops here along the very edge. See how there's two stitches here? row and the next row and so on I'm just going to continue and close this part here along the side make sure you turn this row like this so that you can see the stitches here these are the stitches that we closed and that's going to give you a nicer um, seam here. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end, I finished closing. So here I'm just going to make one extra stitch here to secure this part. So this part here is done. Now we're going to grab the white yarn here that we had, pass it through this needle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go along the very edge here and same thing we did at the top, we're going to go here through the red stripes, like this, along the very edge, like this. Perfect. Now pull your yarn so that this part here closes and we're going to tie a knot here with the red and the white. This is the very center. So pull so that this hole here closes, tie a knot. And now you can either continue with the white or with the red and close this part here. I'm going to continue with the red. So my white yarn I'm going to cut and just hide this end. So with the red color, I'm going to close. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. You're just going to have to do it the way that you think it's going to look nice. And like I said, when we started this, you're going to need lots of patience. Okay, I'm halfway here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make an extra stitch here to make this stitch nice and secure. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go around with my needle like this for each one of these rows here like this. And we're going to do kind of sort of the same thing I did here in the front. Perfect. We're going to pull this so that this closes nicely. There we go. And then just secure your yarn again through this last stitch that we did. And then I'll come back and do that, but I'm going to show you what it looks like from the inside or from the right side. Perfect, see? That's what it looks like. 
So the booties are done, or this one is done. I need to do the other one. And that's what it looks like. And this is what it looks like from the bottom. I think it looks so much neater. Very nice. That's the bottom and that's the top. Now here we need to add something so that this part here looks nicer. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe some little pom-poms or a little flower or something. Uh, we'll see what I can come up with. But the baby booty is done and that's what it looks like. So I'm going to do the other one and then I'll come back and show you uh, what they look like. Okay, I finished making the other baby booty. This is what it looks like. It's exactly like the first one. Now here around, I also did a little border. So I'm going to show you how that is done. So with this white yarn, I'm just going to grab this loop here. So using a three millimeter crochet hook, just go here to the very edge right here, grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now we're going to go along the very edge here so insert your hook here, grab a loop, and make a slip stitch, chain one, into the next stitch, slip stitch, chain one, 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 and so on. That's all I'm going to do all around this part. Okay, so continue, and I'll meet you right here at this other end to show you the finished baby booties. Okay, I finished making this row here at the end. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then I just hid my ends here on the inside. I also went ahead and attached a little bow here. This bow, all I did was just looked on YouTube how to make bows, and then I just chose whatever came up. It's very easy. I'm sure you can find a video there as well. I'm not going to show you uh, since there are lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to make bows. You can also add little pom-poms. That would be up to you. So. The baby booty is done and this is what it looks like. That's the bottom and here is the top. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.